I'm just sitting here editing a video and looking at the fish I've caught and it just stopped raining. So I got this lure I've been wanting to use to catch some fish on it. And I got, I think an hour, hour and a half before it gets dark. So I'm going to grab it. Just go ahead and do a little fishing in between editing this video. All right, I got the little June bug Helgramite out. I've been wanting to use this for a while. I've had it for a little bit and just haven't been able to fish with it. Just haven't, haven't really fished with it. I'm at one of my little creeks that I like going to. The water floods through here a lot. So it seems like the fish are always changing up here. There's one. I think I got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what I was expecting, rock bass. There's always rock bass in this creek. I don't know what it is. This creek's usually really clear. It's kind of murky right now. It's, it's like I said, it just rained. It didn't rain real hard, but it rained a little bit. And um, it uh, starts as a spring, not very far up. Two springs kind of come together. And uh, there's my first rock bass. Oh, got one. Oh, big rock bass. That's a good size anyways. Come here. All right. This is the spot where I caught my biggest rock bass ever. He was uh, 10 and a half inches long. So there's always rock bass in here. Well, I kind of came up the creek and it goes into this golf course. And then there's this nice pond right here and the golf course is closed and there's no, no fishing signs. So you know what I'm gonna do. And there's my first fish, first cast. What is it? Oh man, that's a war mouth. That's a giant war mouth. Or at least the biggest one I've ever caught. Look at the mouth on that guy. That's weird. Uh, I don't know what's in this pond. I don't know if there's, if they stocked it or did anything. It looks pretty clear, but it looks kind of shallow. But that's a really nice looking war mouth. Got it. Oh, there's a bass. It's not huge, but I'll take it. It's like my fourth or fifth cast. Man, he really wanted that hugger mite. Look how deep it is in there. Okay, largemouth bass. Well, somebody else has been fishing here. There's a, a crawl on there, so I'm not the only guy that fishes in here. There's something. The bass. What is fighting? Not that big, but really aggressive. All right. Another bass getting turned down the hugger mate. Oh, my bad, dude. Well, I hope he's going to be all right. Come here. Yeah, he's fine. Wow, first cast. Oh, it's a bass. That's what I'm talking about. Came over to the creek the next day and first cast in the creek. Saw a little uh, spotted bass, I think. Maybe a large mouth. There's my dog coming up, not my dog. Not bad, there we go, hug a mite. Hey buddy. What you doing? You got some bread? Oh yeah. There we go. Man, hitting good today. 
Glad to see they're coming back to life. Even these little guys like the hugger mite. All right, second bass in about 10 minutes. So that was about a month or a month and a half ago whenever I was uh, filming that film that video. And uh, I was using these um, Nico Helgramites, the June bug. It's like a purple, uh, if you can tell what they are. Um, you've probably seen me use these in videos. I've really been liking them. I love them in the summertime, especially for creeks or uh, slow flowing waters. Haven't worked as well in fast flowing waters, but they've worked anywhere I can get them where a fish can see it. Um, one of the great things about these are that their durability. These things are really, really tough. You, you're hardly ever going to pull them apart. You can stick hooks in them and do all kinds of things, rehook them several different times. They're not going to fall apart. Just hooking a jig head in the, in the top or the bottom, I've used it both ways, has um, seemed to have did really well on hooking fishes. The downside is you get caught on a lot of logs. But you can, you can put that in there right like that. And it's got a really good action. And um, the fish can bite on it and pull on it all they want. And they're not going to really mess it up. They're not going to tear it apart or anything. And you can redo the hook. You can do it this way, do it in the top, hook it in the bottom, whatever you want to do, hook it sideways. I've caught fish just hooking a hook through the tail and jerking along like that. But you can rehook it several times and it's still going to hold together. What you can also do is modify it and make a little one. Some of these little creeks that I go to, that little fish are trying to bite it and they bite the end and they can't get hooked. So I got a little uh, jig head on there and I got about a half the Helgramite on there. And I got one more place, I'm gonna just drop this little lure in where a little deep pool is on the bridge and see if it works. There's one, got one hooked. Oh. Wow, it's a fat red breast. Look at that, really pretty fish. It's a good, really good size one too. It's a good size red breast right there. Yep, little lure was just big enough to get him. Nice little fish. Toss him back in there. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I thought I saw something come get it. Oh, it's a Kusa bass, a really pretty one. I was just kind of bringing it by the bank and I saw a dark fish come get it and this is a dark looking kusa bass he just grabbed it snatched it up man that is a pretty looking fish those are that, that one right there is just awesome looking look at those dark spots on it gotta get a picture of him all right real pretty ones throw him back Oh yeah, there's one. Oh, yep, yep, got him on the other side of the fence here. Whoa, 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 that's a good piece of bass. Nice, hold on there buddy, hold on, hold on. Oh, man, he's back in the water, he got off. His, uh, his nose looked a little, or front of his lip looked a little funny, but that was like a really good size piece of bass. Step back so I can cast this, should use my Shorter pole probably, but using a six and a half foot, just six pound line, where I can cast these light things around. Oh, got it. I didn't think I had, oh, wow. Really pretty fish. I don't know if I have him hooked very well. Man, that is a super pretty fish. Oh my goodness. This is what I love about creek fishing. Oh man, this, this makes me so excited. Look at that Kusa bass. Oh. This little creek, just a, basically a trickle of water coming into this nice little deep pool right before it goes into some cow field and goes back out. It's got this little bit of water just loaded up with little fish in there and these hidden little gems and beauties of little fish. This is awesome. This is exciting. That is a really awesome looking Kusa bass too. This is the kind of fish I get excited about. Yes, it's, if you were fishing in a lake, this would be a tiny one. But fishing in this little creek, this is a giant. And he's just fun to catch. Let's put him back in there. <laughs> I 
There's one. Another Coosa bass. He was up right where the rapids come into it here. Kind of cast it up there and he was hanging out up there. So you can probably tell why I like using this style or at least the jig head, this style open and exposed. Cause I'm catching, a lot of times catching fish like this and I want to be able to hook these fish. I don't want to miss out on them. You could hook these uh, lures up weedless or something similar to that. Something where it's not going to come up even a weighted weedless uh, setup. But I feel like I'm just not going to make the hookups like I do on these little fish. If I'm fishing for big bass, yeah, maybe easier with the heavier poles. But I'm using a medium tackle and some six pound line. And I, I like the hook exposed for these little fish so they can get their mouth on it and I can set the hook. And I like the weight on there where the good action, uh, I like the way that is and I can feel it. I can feel the fish bite downside is and don't blame me if this happens to you but i just threw a lure over there just the same one and got it hung in the rocks and that's two dollars down the drain and you're going to hang a lot of these with the bear hook showing like this you're going to hang up a lot but then again i feel like i catch a lot more fish doing it this way well, thanks for watching this is kind of fishing i love to do the helgramite is perfect for this kind of fishing especially in these little clear calm uh, water pockets you just cast it in there and the fish just attack it well, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get to get out and catch your own fish.